U.S., represented an escape from the familiarity of my home, Connecticut, and New England at large. My life revolved around this region, a land of dreary winters and sweltering summers, where the Europeans first colonized. Though my issue with home was not truly in the climate, the people, or anything that can be seen or felt. My issue was how the familiarity of my homeland enforced the lack of choice I grew up with. Connecticut is where I was once two years old, six years old, sixteen years old. All budding versions of myself fully shaped by the habits of my family and friends. These habits were restrictive, and I carried them long after they served their purpose. At eighteen, I sought to grow and change as adulthood approached, but the habits of my previous selves held strong. With the prospect of college, I sought an environment where my habits had no foundation. I sought the desert heat of Arizona that warmed my soul, the rolling plains of Wyoming where I felt free, and the conifer top mountains of Oregon that pushed me to explore. Those feelings led me to choose schools not for their academics, but for how unfamiliar to my home their campuses felt, for how much choice they seemed to promise. My great validation, these schools chose me too. I felt as if I was going to escape my home and habits, finally. At this point, came the realization that my habits weren't the final barrier to my growth. It was my family's financial stability, or lack thereof. My choice was stolen through a painstaking spring, crossing out my escape plans one by one as a compromise to protect my family. Eventually, nothing remained but the University of Connecticut, offering the cheapest deal. To this day, I still dream of the West.